Tonight, Boulder City Council approved a ballot measure to push encampments away from schools, and now it will be in the hands of voters in November. And this comes after parents say students were seeing too much. They were exposed to drug use, were attacked, or were close to propane tank explosions near school grounds. Denver 7's Danielle Kreuter spoke to advocates and critics who say this is not a long-term solution for homelessness. The law is already there. All we're asking them to do is put the schools at the very top of the list. When Terry Birchich started collecting petition signatures with other parents, she says the situation outside of Boulder schools was alarming. One of our founders, um, her daughter was actually lunged at uh, going, you know, to school one day. Um, my child actually was running track when we had a propane tank explode on the perimeter of the school and the track team had to actually be evacuated. She and others formed the group Safe Zones for Kids, hoping to address the issue of encampments near school grounds. It's not okay for our kids to be watching open air meth use and fentanyl use, having propane tanks explode outside their school. It's, it's not okay. They're asking for prohibited items like tents and propane tanks to be at least 500 feet away from schools and 50 feet from sidewalks or trails. When you guys were collecting signatures for this petition, what was the feedback of the community? Overwhelmingly supportive. Um, you know, I think people are upset that these kids are having to experience these kind of conditions. While the ordinance itself would target prohibited items, critics say laws like this actually target people. It is always the knee jerk reaction to say, well, we're just going to eliminate homelessness by eliminating the visibility of people in certain areas. Kathy Alderman is the public policy officer for the Colorado Coalition for the Homeless. We certainly understand that the safety of kids being able to get to and from school is really critical, um, but just moving people away from certain areas and, and especially public spaces isn't going to resolve homelessness. It's not going to provide more housing. It's not going to provide more supportive services. Things she hopes Boulder leaders focus on. Consent agenda items A through H are hereby approved and passed units. City Council is leaving it up to the voters. With council approval, the Safe Zones for Kids ordinance will now end up on November's ballot. In Boulder, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7.